you try to break out with a moving wall? Did you try to break out with an extra ball? It's what fun is all about. It's Super Breakout. It's a brand new game from Atari. Have you played Atari today? If you like Breakout, you'll love Super Breakout. It's got more colors, more sounds, and more action. And naturally, it's from Atari. Have you played Atari today? Hey guys, and welcome to the competitive review of the Atari 7800 European controller and the Atari 7800 Western controller. We'll see who comes out on top. So first here, I have done this before, we have the Atari 7800 gamepad. Very nice, fits in my hand perfectly, and we have our little stick nub which works surprisingly well, even though it does look a bit odd. But then again, like I said to you before, you can just unscrew this out and you can carry on playing just with a directional pad, which again, works fantastic. You've got nice maneuverability, it feels nice and tight in your hand as you're whacking away at Space Invaders or playing Pac-Man or my personal favorite, E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Or you could be playing some 7800 games like Choplifter or Meltdown or joust. So yes, nice controller. We have a nice, like, like a grip, grip bit here, so it's not going to slip out of your hand whilst you're mashing away, playing your video games. So that is a really nice controller. Also, you have to remember that this Atari 7800 console came out at a time when Nintendo was dominating the market. So you can probably see some similarities here. Now let's just try and fit these two together. Yeah, roughly around the same size. I think, yeah, the Atari one is just that tiny bit shorter, but it's definitely wider than the Nintendo Entertainment System console. The Nintendo controller is blatantly the better controller overall, but obviously this wouldn't work on an Atari, so this is the next best thing, which is a fantastic controller. Now we move on to the 7800 controller for the Pro System. I got this for six mighty pounds on eBay. Now, I have had a lot of time to practice with this. The thing I do like though is the nice piece of chrome metal they've put here with the Atari logo on it. That's nice, that's a nice feature. I also like it on this one, but for some reason this just stands out more because it's, it's giant and silver and hits you right in the face when you look at it. And probably bludgeon someone over the head with it. Anyway, I have had a lot of time playing games with this controller, uh, like Pac-Man or Mousetrap. That, well, you just saw a feature that will annoy me throughout this. Um, playing Mousetrap, Pac-Man, and to be fair, this controller, it's, it is junk, I will admit. It's not very good, but I do like it at the same time, because I kind of felt it was quite comfortable just holding it like this. So you have your two buttons here, and I actually kind of got I kind of liked it but I just do not like this horrible joystick look it spins well I'm not gonna get a good spin out of it but it does spin like it's gonna unscrew you don't have a lot of maneuverability I don't know if you can see that it's it's a bit uh, restrained should we say and these buttons I don't know if anyone else has had this problem but these buttons keep getting stuck for me well especially this one this one's kind of a bit sticky but then again, what do you expect from an old controller? I, sh I shouldn't have expected it to be um, working in full working order. But um, I did notice, obviously I was playing my game, I was going, yeah, Space Invaders, other trademarked games that I play. Um, I was finding this hand was getting extremely cramped. I, th I think I ended up like holding it like this eventually, like, ow, ow, ow. That was to uh, you know, simulate what was going on. So. If you're going to buy an Atari 7800 system, do not get that. Buy this one, even if you have to import it because it's worth it, because or just use the Sega Genesis controller, but excluding that for the moment, if you were to buy an Atari controller for the 7800, get a hold of one of these because these are really nice. I have three of these and I have two of those. These are much better. I use these more. I don't really use those, so I might sell those ones, but it works really nice. This is the controller to go for. As an added announcement for the end of this video, we are at 85 subscribers, which for me, starting this channel with only about 20 is fantastic, if I'm honest. 
and if I hit a hundred subscribers I will choose a random subscriber and give them a free Steam code to a game. Don't expect the game to be fantastic because it probably won't be but if we hit 100 subscribers there will be a winner. So remember to comment, rate and subscribe fist bump and I'll see all of you guys in the next video. What could possibly go wrong?